welcome to Live Life on Purpose with Jose Feliciano with Feliciano Financial Group. In this podcast, Jose explains that money is just a tool to achieve the things you want in life, a tool to make the decision to live life on purpose. He draws from years of experience to demonstrate that when your money aligns with your goals, you can live a purposeful life. Because when your vision is clear, your decision is easy. Hello and welcome to Live Life on Purpose with Jose Feliciano. Good morning, Jose. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. You told me that we're talking about something important and timely today, but I'm really kind of in the dark still. What are we talking about? I tell you, it's hard to believe it's the fall of the year and it's October and that's uh, Medicare enrollment. So it's a um, a lot of senior citizens have to make a lot of decisions Mm. at this point in time. Okay. So Medicare open enrollment is right now and, and it runs from October till when? It runs from October through in the middle of December. Got it. Okay. So what, a month and a half, two months or so uh, of, uh, of open enrollment. And why is it so important right now? I mean, for, for new people, I understand that it's, it's probably pretty important, but does every senior need to know this? Well, you know, things change and health conditions change and um, networks change. And we set an appointment with all our clients uh, that have Medicare supplements with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, people that have turned 65, we need to review the health care plans and uh, just make sure that that we're lining up the right company for what they're trying to accomplish. People have different uh, networks, different doctors they prefer. Prescription drugs might have changed. And so we just want to match the right company for them so we can help them make some more choices with money. Absolutely. It's, it's more important than ever at that time of your life to make good decisions with money. Now, do you guys have specialists in-house that work with your clients? Yeah, we've got three. That's all they do, uh, day in, day in, and day wow. out, on um, the Medicare supplements, and they look at all the aspects of Medicare parts A, B, C, and D. Um, and of course, D is changing quite a bit. Well, matter of fact, healthcare is changing, and then of course, analyzing options and long-term care because Medicare supplements, you know, uh, do not cover custodial care and immediate care. So it depends what the situation is, and making sure that uh, people are aware of where the gaps are, and then. Uh, People, they know what they want to accomplish. They just, there's so many decisions and choices out there. And that's why it's important for us to be independent. You know, we like to represent all the companies. And then that way we just match making what's what's right for the clients. Now, when you say independent, what do you mean by that? Independent is, you know, where you don't just represent one company. You represent all the different companies um, and all the different networks. So when when people tell you that the, you know, what kind of, which doctor they would prefer or or which network they would prefer, then we, we try to connect the dots between the company and the client and making sure that they got what they want. Yeah, I, man, that's so vitally important. I, I just, I can't imagine being in that situation, you know, 65, 70, I, my, my father's 81 uh, th- this year, and I want him to be able to go to the doctor that he's had for the last five years, six years, or however long he's had his doctor. I don't want him to have to change and uh, you know, have a whole new doctor get to know him and all his quirks and you know, those types of things. So how often does this stuff change? I mean, it, it sounds like people need to review their stuff, um, their, their information, uh, including their medications. You said something about the medication parts changing as well. Yeah, there's, you know, and I'm, I'm re- kind of looking forward to January. We have total transparency and I think, uh, there's some new laws coming out to where people can shop between countries Oh, on, on, wow. on the cost of medicine. I think it's going to drive the cost down. I'm excited about that because I know that a lot of seniors are on limited budgets and, you know, if they can increase their cash flow by saving money on medicine, I mean, then, then they can go in and enjoy the quality of life that they want. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And our advisors here, you know, it's hard to be jack of all trades, master of none. Mm-hmm. And so we have specialists that do it day in and day out. And they really stay on top of the continuing education and making sure that and there are new companies that come out and new plans. And, you know, we have a great team. I'm really proud of them. And the reviews are so important. There's so much confusion out there that uh, being independent is very important to us. Yeah. Well, I think it's important that people understand what that independence truly means because when you have somebody who I would term it captive, I don't know if that's that's the correct terminology or not, but when they're captive and they're only representing one company, then they really are kind of pushing their own agenda. Uh, and they're, I don't think they can really meet the needs of the client if they only have 
you know, one tool in their tool belt. No, no doubt about it. And that's why when we meet with them, uh, Debbie or Bruce or John, uh, when they meet with the seniors, that they go through a whole checklist of, you know, we want to pull out all the information that we can out from them and get exactly what they want and then give them two or three or four choices of which company to go with. And there's pros and cons to everything. So Mm -hmm. we just want to make sure that everybody's crystal clear where they want to go. And then they feel really good that, that we shop the whole market. And just like my parents, they want to make smart choices with their money. And our obligation is to the clients and not to the insurance companies. Yeah. And I know you don't have that checklist in front of you, but can you give me kind of a sneak peek at some of those things that your specialists will be talking to folks about? Well, everything's really tied into their pre-existing conditions. Mm. And so we want to drill deep there, understand that. And then, of course, networks. People have different networks that they prefer. And, of course, doctors, we're back to that. And who do they want to see and what's best for, in their situation. And then, of course, we, you're with the prescription drugs, you want to make sure that uh, that they're tied into the right pharmacist and they want to have the lowest deductible possible. And how do you uh, attain your goals with, with the least amount of money? Yeah, and I've heard that uh, with the with the prescription drugs that suddenly it can just kind of change on you. Like the prices can change, so there's different plans. So if you're on a current medication and your price goes way up, you may find a different plan where your medication goes back down to where it was or you, you, it, it can change the price for you. Exactly. And, and that's what, that's what they do. And they know all the ins and outs. And, and I know in a future podcast, what we'll do is, is we'll bring one of them in and, and let them go through their process. And, um, I think that we've been blessed. We've been busy. You try to stay on top and being very proactive. You know, we create raving fans when you really can show somebody that, that you really custom tailored their situation to the right company. And, um, I think that that's very important. Yeah, absolutely. I know that you're in Texas, and it's uh, it's nice and warm down there at, at most of the year. I'm assuming, right? Uh, am I right on that? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's nice and crisp today. I really, it's nice. Fantastic. Uh, so I'm assuming that you probably deal with some snowbirds, right? And and I know that there are certain rules as far as networks uh, when it comes to people that live you know, six months in maybe Minnesota and then six months in Texas or or whatever. Can you kind of touch on that for those that have you know, dual places to live. Yeah, that's a great example of, you know, what the situation is. So it's every company's different. Every company has different networks across the country and just custom customizing a plan that's what they're trying to accomplish. And not only that, a lot of people are looking for plans for their parents. Uh, And, and, you know, long-term care is another healthcare crisis that's coming to us in the future and really understanding custodial care, Mm -hmm. intermediate care and skilled care. <clears throat> and having people understand, you know, what it covers for skilled care, understanding all the ins and outs. And, and that's part of the overall planning is uh, making sure that you don't have, I would say, holes in your plan. In other words, gaps that you are would be responsible for that could tap into your savings or your reserves uh, when we didn't have to make that happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Jose, on our previous podcast, you actually kind of alluded to the sandwich generation, which I find myself in. I've got, you know, uh, aging parents, I've got children, and I've got grandchildren. So uh, it's it's a multi-layer, a club sandwich, if you will. <laughs> so for for those of us that are in that sandwich generation, we have parents, or maybe those that are listening that have parents that are entering this phase of their life, turning 65, do you recommend that they talk to an advisor uh, on behalf of their parents and kind of get some of that information if they want to help them through this process? Everybody in the sandwich generation should be able to have that conversation with their parents and also reach out to the advisor just to make sure that they're not dealing with just a captive agent. We find that a lot of people Mm -hmm. maybe visit with their agent and then don't talk to them for another five years. But things are changing so much that I think on the annual review that, that we need to take the time, call time out, find out exactly what our parents need and want, ask the questions, and find an independent advisor that matches you up with uh, what you need. And that way there's no gaps in a plan when you could have eliminated that by just getting involved. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love that. I love that you're endorsing that because it's it's something that I think that a lot of people in that sandwich generation, they, they have trouble 
maybe even having that conversation with their parents. And it would be great to be able to do that. And having a third party, I mean, just having an advisor there that has the best interest of the parents in mind. Uh, it, it, I think we've spoken about fiduciaries and things before. Uh, it, it makes a world of difference. And, and to be able to be on that same page to make sure if, if I'm assured that my parents are taken care of, that helps me have that peace of mind that you've spoken so much about, right? I want to make sure they're taken care of. Um, so that, that's, that's fantastic. I'll say I appreciate you know the, the time you've given me today and, and uh, kind of walking through some of the important parts about open enrollment. Is there anything else that people need to know right now about the importance of open enrollment? I would say it's very important to set a time, call time out, verify your doctors, the networks, your prescription drugs, and make sure that you're lined up with the company that's right for you. You want to get with an independent advisor. That way you've got all the choices that are out there just to compare it to what you have. And I think that's very important because I think that the more money that you can save goes towards your emergency funds, goes towards your retirement, and the things that are important to you. Hopefully uh, maybe another extra vacation or whatever, but do get a second opinion, Mm -hmm. call time out, and just double check and make sure. I love the fact that you put the exclamation point on the big three, because those are the ones that run in my mind from all the things that you've told me. Verify the network, verify your doctor, and verify your medications. Because if any of those change, that you know you're stuck for a year, right? You can't do anything about it until next open enrollment. That's correct, and oh. you just don't want to make a mistake. And you know, in order to prevent mistakes, is to do more research, talk to more people. And call time out yeah. and just make double sure. I know your team is extremely busy during this time. If somebody's listening to this and they want to reach out and ask you those questions or, you know, get a little bit of help, how do they get a hold of you guys? Yeah, they would call our office, 903-533-8585. And Bruce, John, or Debbie will set up an appointment. All right. Our front desk will set the appointment and they'll send you a form that you fill out and just list your medications. So that way we can be prepared before the meeting Nice. so we can make sure and tell you what's available out there that you need to be aware of. Absolutely. Jose, great information. Thank you so much for your time again today. Thank you. You bet. And the last thank you goes to you, the listening audience. Thank you for tuning in and listening to the Live Life on Purpose podcast with Jose Feliciano. If you have not subscribed to the podcast, please click the subscribe now button below. This way, when Jose comes out with a new podcast, it'll show up directly on your listening device. This makes it much easier to share these podcasts with your friends and family. Again, thank you so much for listening today. For everyone at Feliciano Financial, this is Eric Johnson reminding you to live life on purpose. Thank you for listening to Live Life on Purpose with Jose Feliciano. Click the subscribe button below to be notified when new episodes become available. The information covered and posted represents the views and opinions of the guest and does not necessarily represent the views or opinions of Feliciano Financial Group. The content has been made available for informational and educational purposes only. The content is not intended to be a substitute for professional investing advice. Always seek the advice of your financial advisor or other qualified financial service provider with any questions you may have regarding your investment planning. 